Hey, it's Chaim with The Verge, and I'm here with two of Samsung's new laptops that'll be out early next year. This is the Galaxy Book Flex, and over here is the Galaxy Book Ion. They're replacing some of Samsung's older lineup. Galaxy Book Flex, in particular, is replacing the old Notebook 9 pen, and the Galaxy Book Ion is replacing the standard Notebook 9. And what you'll notice here is that these laptops look really good, or at least really good compared to Samsung's old design, which, if we're being honest, was really bad. It's a similar design language that Samsung introduced earlier this year with the Notebook 9 Pro that it introduced at CES, and now it's trickling down to the rest of the range. Now, in addition to the new design, Samsung is making a bunch of improvements across both laptops uh, to make them a little more modern. The biggest change is the display, which is now a QLED display, similar to the ones that Samsung uses on its high-end TVs. Samsung says the display should have better color accuracy, and they're also much brighter. There's a new outdoors mode that lets them crank up to up to 600 nits outdoors, and they'll go up to 400 nits on regular mode. They're bright, they look great, especially compared to the old laptops. Another big improvement here is battery life. Samsung says that it's dramatically improved battery life on both laptops. It says that they both should last all day without any issues, although we'll obviously have to test that one out for ourselves before we know for sure. Another weird and interesting battery-related thing is these touch pads. You see, they're not just touch pads. They're actually full Qi wireless chargers. So you have your laptop out and you can take your phone or your smartwatch or your wireless headphones. You can just drop them on the touch pad and you can charge them. It's weird, but it's kind of neat, and it's honestly the sort of thing that I might actually end up using. Like, if you're using your laptop at your desk and you don't need the touchpad because you have a mouse or something, why not use it to charge your phone? Also new is this new S Pen, which, like the new S Pen on the Galaxy Note 10 introduced earlier this year, now has new Bluetooth and motion sensing features that let you use it to do things like control slideshows or, you know, move from afar. And it stores right in the side of the laptop. Now, if you saw Samsung's Notebook 9 Pro from earlier this year, you'll notice a lot of the similarities in the design language. Gone are those like weird bubbly corners that were on the old Samsung laptops. You have these much tighter, almost squared radiuses that just look a little more professional and less like a toy, which is really just nice to see. You also notice the bezels on the display have been dramatically shrunken down on both laptops, which is great because smaller bezels are great. No one likes big bezels. Both laptops also feature an all-metal design. Galaxy Book Flex is aluminum, and the Galaxy Book Ion is magnesium, which feels a little more plasticky and a little more lightweight, but it's not plastic. Both laptops come in 13-inch and 15-inch sizes. Uh, they feature the usual spec boost that you'd expect from a year-over-year -year update. The Galaxy Book Flex has Intel's new 10th-gen Ice Lake processors, whereas the Galaxy Book Ion has Intel's 10th-gen Comet Lake processors. We don't know a lot about the rest of the specs. Uh, the bigger 15-inch models will have the option for an NVIDIA MX250 external GPU, uh, but Samsung hasn't given us details on things like exact specs, pricing, release date, all of which it says should be coming in early 2020. And that the laptops should probably be priced similar to the existing Notebook 9 and Notebook 9 Pen. For more great videos on laptops and technology and phones and everything else gadget-related, check out The Verge on YouTube.